Well, let's turn now to some new developments in the world of hacktivism. We here at RT try to keep you up to date on all the latest actions by Anonymous. And earlier this week, we told you that several members of the hacking group LulzSec were charged by the FBI. LulzSec is a group within the movement of Anonymous, and the FBI was apparently assisted in finding some of the suspects by Hector Xavier Monsegor, also known as Sabu. Sabu is a 28-year-old man, father of two, uh, apparently, allegedly, was the head of an operation conducted out of his New York City apartment that involved hundreds of hackers from around the world. Now, once taken into custody by the FBI, he started helping them uh, find some of the other people that they were looking for. So government officials say they have now successfully chopped off the head of the movement. But even since those arrests were made, an antivirus company called Panda Security was hacked into, along with the website for the Vatican. A protest, according to Anonymous, against the Catholic Church itself and its positions on certain issues. So clearly the hacking is not over. Uh, and our web team has been following Anonymous closely, and I've got uh, our web writer, Andrew Blake, here now to sort of break this down. Sure. Um, first of all, I guess let's just start. Today's Friday. A lot of times on Friday we hear um, uh, about some the, the next takedown by Anonymous. Anything happened today? Yet? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, nothing on par with what we've seen over the last couple of weeks, the last couple of months, and actually the last year. Um, but, yeah, throughout 2012, they said that every Friday they're going to keep going, and things have slowed down a bit, whether or not it's related to how the feds have been going after people this week. We don't know. Um, but it, Yeah, it, some previous Fridays we've seen the CIA. We've actually seen, we've seen the, the Homeland Security the FBI website, website, the FBI website went website. down. And keep in mind, this is while the FBI had apparently infiltrated the group. So That's true. Uh, the whole there's so many questions coming out of the arrests and the the cooperation with Sabu, which uh, was a nine month operation of him working with the FBI. We just found out. Um, so uh, and I must correct you. I'm sorry. Oh sure. Thousands of people across the yes. world are, are getting involved in this, and the FBI is saying that they take five of them. Uh, that's it. But thousands that Sabu was apparently working with out of his apartment. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, but. Um, Five people's not a lot, especially out of a thousand. That's a very big number. Five what about this notion that the number. FBI is trying to say, you know, we've chopped the head off? Because anonymous certainly, uh, you know, are. Well, there was no head. Yeah. There's. Uh, <laughs> go into detail about that because a lot of people don't understand this. They see this as sort of an organization, and now, um, you know, the president has been taken down, so the rest will fall. And that's not how it is at all. The different different anons were were quick to point out that the mainstream media was reporting that to this, the leader of this movement was shut down, but it's. I mean, to call it a movement is even one thing that I would argue, but there's... Well, with, Anonymous uh, itself calls itself a movement. Okay, well, yes. I'm They I'm, say I'm we're sorry. not a hacking group, we're a movement. And what they're doing is an idea, and you can't just get rid of one guy. It's not going to do anything. You can't get rid of five guys. Uh, as we've seen, within hours of the, the news earlier this week, websites were already being attacked. And like you mentioned, uh, Panda Securities, uh, Vatican, and this is all in like the three or four days since this happened. And... Uh, you know, you would think that if the FBI has these informants and they have these insiders, that they would do something to uh, not let this happen. Right. Um, and they, uh, Sabu was still working with the FBI during the Stratford uh, leak, and uh, they still let that one happen, didn't they? And, uh, and I, if you look on Twitter, on mm -hmm. Facebook, a lot of people are very angry. I mean, uh, Anonymous has a huge following, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are angry at this, this guy, Sabu, who mm -hmm. apparently... Um, I, I mean, what do you think is going to be... Do you think we'll see more fallout? Do you think... Um, I don't think so. It, it, the, the, it's a very huge, loose-knit collective, and it's you know, scattered all across the world, but uh, a lot of the people that are heavily involved really consider themselves uh, a family. And they're saying, that, like, Sabu's not even just a traitor. He's just, like, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, how could you do this to your own brothers? And I think that, I mean, obviously you're going to have some people that are going to want to part ways with the group, you know, regardless of what happened. But um, Let me put a tweet up um, from the anonymous yeah, website sure, sure. that you actually showed me, um, but we can put it on the screen okay. for our viewers. Uh, this tweet says, trust us. You think you've seen the full muscles of anonymous uh, up to now? Nah, you ain't seen nothing yet. Get ready, March 2012. So March 2012, we're we're in March. 2012. We're in March 2012. Yeah. We're almost halfway through. I wouldn't um, go that far. I think we got <laughs> some time. I think we're going to see some big things. And I know you read a lot about um, kind of this. You're always on top of this. Uh, it, has there been any hints uh, about what's next? Well, I mean, if there were hints and I was going to discuss them on the air, that would be that would be dangerous. Well, I mean, they're not totally like trying to disclose everything. But. No, uh, I, I would say that we could expect more things this month. Absolutely. Okay. Um, on, 
you know, bearing any other unfortunate circumstances like we saw earlier this week. All right, and you uh, always do keep us up to date on that. And I try. Hope you continue. Sure. Uh, RT web writer Andrew Blake, thanks right. so much. Sure.